at Cedar Point's 2021 opening day to see what's new at the park and what's gone. Something new is that the tent for screening, for the temperature screening is no longer there. Also, masks are no longer required outside, they're only required inside. Something brand new this year for 2021 is this massive Cedar Point 150th sign in front of the Midway Carousel. So right when you walk in the park now, you are greeted with this big 150. So this year at Cedar Point, reservations are still required, but now there is a different system for reservations. Now you, make a re you can make three reservations at a time, and now there is a waiting room to make reservations. Another new thing for 2021 is that fast lanes and fast lane pluses are finally available for sale again. Last year they were unfortunately not available due to the virus, but now they are finally available again so you can finally get on your favorite ride as fast as possible. Another thing new at Cedar Point this year is that there are no longer access passes. Access passes were used in 2020 to limit capacity in the lines and they turned out to be a big failure for the park as a whole and there are many bad things and flaws about the access pass system. So they're completely gone this year. Now you can finally get in line for the big floor without having to wait in a separate line to get a ticket for it. Something new for 2021 for the 150th anniversary is that they now have these booths around the park. These were used before where you can ask questions and get maps and all of that for free from the park. So these are brand new. These are littered around the park everywhere. You can ask questions. The restaurant for the 2021 Cedar Point season is the Wild Turnip. This is a new vegan restaurant and a vegetarian restaurant. We have some vegan friends, so hopefully they'll enjoy this restaurant. This is right next to Maverick in the entrance to Frontier Town, just past the Forbidden Frontier and Frontier Trail area. So it's right here. Unfortunately, it's not open today. Something new for 2021 at Cedar Point for the first I believe it's the first few weeks of operations, so if you want to try this out, you got to get down here pretty quick. But this is the Frontier Festival, and you can buy tasting tickets right here. There's a bunch of new foods that you can try. It's a real nice event that goes on, I think, every year. Right here is one of the new food options for the Frontier Festival happening throughout the month of May. There's also another one right there. So around this area of the park, there is a bunch of booths where you can buy different foods that are normally not available for into the park. So definitely try to check this out if you can. So here is the 2021 park map. As you can see here, here is the new for 2021 attraction, Snake River Expedition, which we are going to get to later. And this is the parade path, the dotted red line. Anyway, this is happening on June 26th or August 15th. For, and there's special parade floats. We saw them at Winter Trail, but unfortunately we weren't able to show you. But they look very nice, and you should definitely try to check out the parade if you're here during those time periods. So early entry for 2021 is a bit different. So now you can only enter for early entry at the front entrance. So, so do not try to enter the back entrance because um, you will be declined. You have to enter for the front for early entry. Also, Steel Vengeance here is only open for early entries on Saturdays and Sundays. So only on weekends is Steel Vengeance open for early entry. And finally for early entry, Gold Passers um, can only ride the rides in the front half of the park, which means all of the big four coasters are only available to Platinum Pass holders for early entry now. So that is just something to note. So after you get off Steel Vengeance now, you come in here, the old fast lane entrance, and you reach the back of the lockers where you put your stuff in. Um, so, Yes, there's a new locker system here. It's free. Um, but this is where you pick up the stuff that you put in. On the other side in the queue, you will put your stuff in and then right. you can grab it from the other side. Yep, so this is fast lane, which wraps around and connects. Normal queue, I'll show you. So the normal queue makes a little different route than it used to. So this is normal entrance, fast lane, straight ahead. Normal entrance is this way. And looks like the queue starts right here so i'm not gonna get in line but oh yeah there's quite a few people in there but so you, you go through the cattle cattle this on this side oh wow there's a lot of people in line so you go through normal entrance this way and come out and then you merge with the ass lane which cuts straight across and then you put your stuff in the lockers yep. and they can get it from the exit then you put your stuff in the locker get back in line and then get your stuff out
Something new for 2021 down in Frontier Town is that they have a lot of little shops that have t-shirts, a bunch of handcrafted items, woodworking. Oh, unfortunately, the town hall is closed, but for 2021, the town hall will be open, hopefully soon. So um, later this year, we'll have to check that out because I've heard they're doing a lot of work inside, renovating it, but it's currently not open for opening day. So we will not be able to see that, but it will be new for 2021. New for 2021 attraction is Snake River Expedition which again is a ride that's not operational as most rides on opening day aren't operational, including Snake River Expedition, which is gonna be a boat ride that has a bunch of little animatronics around. And it's gonna take like basically a tour of the Forbidden Frontier section island of the park near Millennium Forks. And there's also a gift shop here, which is really nice. So in 2021 for Cedar Point, there have been lots of rumors about Wicked Twister being removed in order to build a new. Gershlauer Infinity Coaster for the 2022 season because of a bunch of teasers posted by Tony Clark and Gershlauer themselves. So we'll have to wait and see what happens in 2022 or what happens later in 2021. So another new restaurant at Super Point is The Roost. So unfortunately it's also closed. They're probably working on still getting all the food prepared. It's coming soon though. So they're probably working on everything. Make sure everything is working fine to make sure your food is good, but they have Cedar Point French cut, fresh cut fries, they have chicken tenders and drumsticks, they also have tater tots. The last new thing that we spotted in the park for the opening day of 2021 is that you no longer have to exit over there. In 2020 you had to exit on the side, but now you can just exit where you normally exit. So that's a wrap for what's new at Cedar Point in 2021. Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.